Never bury your enemies alive. Hey, welcome back lads. So we are now just over a week away from the first major update for Modern Warfare 3, which of course is the start of Season 1, and so far a lot of the new stuff has not been officially revealed yet, but pretty much everything has leaked out at some point, and that's what I want to take a look at today and focus on, is all of that leaked content. So yeah, let's get into it, and first things first, I want to start off with something that kind of stood out to me. So all of the new multiplayer maps have already been revealed to us, but we also have this new list of leaked maps coming Coming from Bob Network, and there is a lot there, a lot going on. They're probably all the DLC maps up until season three or four, and they're gonna go all over the place. We know we're going to Greece in season one, then in the future to Dubai and Venice, Italy, and yeah, they have already confirmed that Modern Warfare 3 will have at least, was it 12 new maps and remasters, more remasters on top of that. So uh yeah, we should have at least three maps per season, I think. I'm not sure if that includes ground war maps or war operations. We have absolutely no news, no leaks about any of the future plans or any DLC maps for those modes, which to be honest is a little bit worrying. It's, it should be easy enough for them to continue supporting ground war, because as we all know, they just copy and paste parts of the Warzone map. And I said the other day, right, that Modern Warfare 2 had two ground war maps per season for most of the seasons. So it shouldn't be too hard. It shouldn't be too much for us to expect those to be supported too. But by the looks of it, season one has absolutely nothing for those larger scale modes, so we'll be waiting till season 2. Oh no. Now moving on, let's talk about the DLC weapons. Now as you can see, all of them here, all 5 of the DLC weapons, and to be fair, there is a good amount of DLC weapons, but it does seem like they were cut from the launch of the game for some reason, like they're supposed to be in the game already. You can see this imagery released uh, the back at the start of Modern Warfare 3 that Ghost is literally holding the new Season 1 sniper rifle, which is the real life CDX-50 Tremor, and also they released this video to show the mystery box in Zombies, which you can see the new SMG, which is the PMX. Oh well, actually you can see all of them in there for some reason in that video. They just casually showed that to us weeks ago, including the two assault rifles, the TAR-21 and the ARX-160. There was supposed to be a battle rifle version of the ARX-160, which could come later down the line, and I guess three of the weapons will be in the battle pass right away, and then the other two will come via challenges later on in the season, maybe the mid-season. And also talking about the battle Pass. We haven't really seen or heard anything, but we guess it's going to work just like it did in Modern Warfare 2, you know, that same kind of system. And also, we have heard that Nolan, the second in command or Makarov's right hand, is going to be the main seasonal operator for season one in the Battle Pass. So, uh, yeah, I wonder if we're going to get like a cutscene with him or something. There are some other stuff that is, you know, not officially confirmed yet, or more so rumors, like stuff about uh, DLC perks and DLC score streaks might be a thing. They might be returning this year. and you know, it's not confirmed, so we don't know what perks or what streaks that's supposed to be, but I guess we'll find out uh, if they reveal the content roadmap either tomorrow or Monday, I think, is when we should expect it. So, uh, yeah. And that is about all we have for the unconfirmed but leaked content for Season 1, so uh, I think that's also all about my voice has left in it, so uh, stay spicy, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.